A lot of people have asked how I found the kombucha eels in my very first brew of kombucha that I ever made. So I'm just gonna take a quick video to show you how I did it and then you guys can all know and check your own kombucha and I hope nobody else finds them because it's pretty disappointing and also really gross. So just looking at it with the naked eye, you can't really tell. This looks like your average jar of sweet tea. Um, I had other issues with this batch. This is my first batch, like I said, and the SCOBY that I got didn't come with enough starter. So I don't know if the eels were related to that or just the apple cider vinegar possibility that you find online. But anyway, just looking at this jar, you can't really, oh, there's the, I wrote the date. So this is on day eight of the first ferment in air quotes because it didn't really ferment. But just looking at the jar, you can't see them at all. Even really looking in from here, you can't really see them. So you have to have to take a flashlight and you shine it in. I just did it right about there. And then if you look very, very closely, I'll hold it here for a few minutes because it's kind of hard to see. But if you look really closely, especially like close to the light, you can see them swimming around and it's horrifying. There's millions of them in there, but that's all it takes to see. And once you see them, you can never unsee them and you can never go back. So this batch is going to be garbage. Hopefully you guys, hopefully this will show up online okay. Um, you've also seen my zoomed in version, but actually let me just, I'll zoom in right now so you can get a really good look. So I have to put the flashlight down. Try not to drop my phone in there. I'm gonna zoom in and try to focus on that and then shine the light in. And once, once you zoom in, then you can really tell, like they are happy in there, swimming around. They look like little sperms. It's awful, horrifying. I'm really, really, really glad that I never took a sip of this brew before I found them. So there you go, how to tell if your kombucha has vinegar eels. And hopefully it doesn't dissuade you from ever trying again. I'm not gonna give up. Okay, bye-bye.